Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you an exciting custom visual today known as the dot plot. This is really going to allow us to isolate and look at gaps, clustering, and outliers within data by individually plotting data points on a pretty simple scale. But we have a lot of different varieties and ways that we can configure and customize this custom visual. So why don't you join me now in Power BI so we can take a look at the dot plot. So we can see here the dot plot by MAQ Software. And there's going to be multiple ways that we can show this in regards to orientation. You'll notice here I'm showing a horizontal orientation. And then just below we have the exact same data. And this is going to be in our vertical presentation. Let's take a look and real focus on what's going on within this data so you can see how nice and clean and easy this is a way that we can look and find, as we mentioned, outliers, trends, clustering within our individual data points. Here we can see that we're talking about various different states and if they're profitable or not. But if we look on the right hand side, we can see we have various and many, many different options that we can map our fields to. Right now we're looking at in the axis, we have our state. And then we are looking at the regions. We can see at the very bottom, central, east, north, south, and west, of course. And when we hover over, our tooltip gives us tons of information. Here we see our axis here, the state. But also you'll notice that there's a second. In this case, I've left axis category one available. This is fantastic because we can illustrate how we can very nicely and easily handle hierarchies here. So now not only are we looking at this breakdown for state revenue by quarter, and now we're doing it uh, by region, but now we're doing it by quarter as well. And you can see, as you would expect, the traditional methodology for hierarchy can be leveraged here. I can kind of keep drilling down these various different categories of year, quarter, month, and day. Not only that, we have a ton of different configuration options at our disposal here. Some are going to be specific whether we're using the vertical or the horizontal orientation. Let's look at the horizontal one for right now. When we scroll over, the first option is, do we want to keep it horizontal or do we want to go vertical with it? We also have the capability of choosing the sorting. And this is going to be for the fields that we put in the access category one, as well as access category two, we can choose ascending or descending. Of course, if we continue down the list, you find some very straightforward options. As you would expect here under access category, we can go ahead and you notice central, east, north, south, west, that was on the bottom. We've decided that because we've split them. But if we untoggle this, we now have them together both at the bottom. So this, in the vertical orientation, it's part of me in the horizontal orientation is going to move it from the top and the bottom. Within the vertical orientation, it'll move it from left to right. So that's how this is going to work. And of course, all the standard formatting options as far as coloring, sizing, and font family is going to be available to us. We also have some interesting items in regards to the jitter effect. We know about clustering, but in this regard, if we go through and we turn this on, it'll give just a little bit of an offset to the points that are in that same location. So we can more easily identify these various different groups and clustering. And notice it is very easy so that you can indicate what is being highlighted currently. You can set this up so within the bubbles that you have a selection made for when these items are hovered over. In my case, as I hover over a specific bubble, it circles it in red, making it really far more easily identifiable. Something of note that should be indicated here as well is there are some additional options depending on what we leverage inside of the actual legend itself. In this regard, we're using profitable, which is a categorical piece of data here between non-profitable and profitable. But if we were to remove this and bring down a metric like gross margin, you'll notice that we actually get now this a sense of opacity. We can choose the transparency levels here. And by setting this up and using a metric within the legend, we can go over to the display area and you'll notice now we have this option for gradient colors choosing what is going to be at the low end and what should be at the high end, and it gives us a gradient scale of colors in between. So of course, tons of different options. You can see that we can have these various types of orientation, and it works well with these you know, small, medium data sets. So we can project and look at these nice scales. What are outliers? How do things look categorically? We can break down this data very nicely and very easily. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual, or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ Software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at PragmaticWorks by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com.